from Ringside Pro Wrestling and from POW Entertainment in Fox Lake and the AWA Slam Chicago. Tonight's guests, the voice of POW Entertainment, the hair extraordinaire, Mr. Riccolo, and the lost soul, Chris Cairo. That's Riccolo. Riccolo, Riccolo. Hey, and welcome to the show. <laughs> hey, it's been about, what, two weeks, three weeks? Two weeks, it's been, been a while. Something like that. And tonight here we have in the studio, Miss Erin. She's here, she's here tonight. Hey, Miss Erin joining us right here tonight. Richard T. Sin, the panel, Billy Wack back in the high ass, the aforementioned Trevor Blanchard, and yes, Mr. Riccolo, the voice of POW Wrestling is joining us right here tonight. I'm excited about that, I know Billy Wack. Pow. You don't get up to POW shows very I, often, do you? I haven't had a chance to get up to POW. I want to get up to POW wrestling, but I haven't. So I'm sure he'll, he'll be on. He'll talk about the next dates and things like that. He knows everything about POW. This guy's very informed. But we've also got a featured match tonight featuring Trevor Blanchard's group, the M.O.V. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Tally. Current tag team champions of POW. Wow, gold he holds. Yeah, yeah gold he holds. I should have brought the belt, but whatever. Yeah. No but we also got Chris Cairo joining us tonight in studio, the man from Lower Wacker Drive. I'm hoping this guy took a bath before he came in tonight because he sleeps next to a dumpster. Who is yeah. this? Chris Cairo. Does he really? He sleeps Did next to a dumpster. Did you bring cologne with you? Or uh, yeah, well, yeah. I, spray mean, I, 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 I smell good smells. naturally. I hate, naturally. Being in, I hate being in a ring with him, and that's going to suck being, well, you wow. know, that's fairly like two feet. <laughs> But, 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 a, but a homeless guy that became a wrestler, and I must say he's a formidable, very formidable wrestler, and he's going to be joining us right here tonight. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he still homeless? Yeah, from what I understand, he Lower Wacker. from Lower Wacker Drive, Billy Wack. Lower oh. Wacker Drive. That's where this guy lives, eats, breathes, sleeps, exists on a day-to-day -day basis. Shakes, I feel a, for him. shakes a can for money. <laughs> I feel for him, but i got to tell you, he is a 
This guy's a ring superstar. This guy goes and gets it done with his partner, Kanoa, the whole flying Hawaiian Kanoa. These are some tough guys from POW, and we're going to have them here tonight, right here on your forum for independent sports on the mat. You know, it's a, it. it's a shame that such an accomplished accomplished wrestler, such as Chris Cairo, making the, making the bread that he's making at POW Entertainment, and he's still homeless. What does he do with his money? I'm going to ask him when he comes out. I'm going to ask there him what he does with his money. You know, some people go the homeless route because that's what they like. They don't want society. There was a, When I grew up in East Chicago, there was a guy called Martin the Bum. I'm not going to say his last name, but he was known as <laughs> Martin the Bum. He had all this big, thick hair on the back. And actually, it was rumored it wasn't really hair. It was like sheep shorn sheep stuff hanging out of the back of his hat. He lived under a bridge. He would just basically, from what there was rumors about him, they would see him in Brazier Burger at night with a spoon. He would dip the spoon into his armpits and eat his own body lice. And this is, this is we're talking what? East Chicago folklore here, Martin the Bum. <laughs> he lived under the bridge on Indianapolis Boulevard. His picture was in the paper in the Hammond Times several different occasions. And there's all kinds of rumors and folklore about what drove Martin to go under the bridge and cast off society and become wow. Martin the Bum. It's an interesting story. Sometimes people that are bums just don't want to deal with life. You know what I'm Gee, saying? Well, he's supposedly a real smart yeah. guy, but there's all kinds of Indiana folklore about Martin the Bum. Interesting stuff. Well, Never indeed. heard of it. Indeed. Sounds like anything we eat their own lice. Sounds like a very interesting character. Was there anybody like that in Mokina? <laughs> no, Mokina rules, Trevor. Sacrilege, Trevor. Mokina. Yeah. He's mud turtle. Mud <laughs> But tonight we got RPW Wrestling, that's Ringside Pro Wrestling tonight, and Acid Jazz is going to be taken on Mason Rage. Mason Rage, does anybody know anything about Mason Rage here on the panel? A name like Rage, he's bound to be very angry. Ooh, possible. OVW. He's from OVW? Oh, from OVW. Thank yes. you, Nicholas H. Then we're looking for oh, uh, that's probably H. a straight up car <laughs> fashional going up against Acid Jazz right here tonight. Uh, that promises to be a good one. A uh, big shout out to our studio, uh, Chris Hedford, running the cameras tonight, running the uh, switching and back, doing a heck of a job. I just wanted to doing, mention Chris doing Hedford. a better job than uh, his again. dad. No, no, no. Hey, guys, <laughs> come on. Quit picking on Nicholas H. You're picking on Nicholas H. We do this week in and week out. I mean, come well, on. If, if he would he make does, sure the spellings were correct and he everything. Hey, no. he does and we have to go over that. What you, what you but, people but, don't but, know is that. Do you have that... to find the matches? Do you have to go and seek out these Chris matches? Chris does no. that. Chris does that. <laughs> we all know that. We all know that. We're stripping away the porcelain veneer that is Nicholas H. Trevor. Why do you think it's give the man a break? <laughs> porcelain veneer. <laughs> porcelain veneer. <laughs> give the man a break. Yeah, I'm going to get me some. But, uh, yeah, we've got Acid Jazz taking on Mason Rage right here tonight. Rage. On OTM on the mat. Your forum for independent sports week in, week out. Billy Wack, I noticed you've got a new magazine, or it's a hard, thick book there. I don't What's know. These, these were here, and uh, I haven't even looked at them. The encyclopedia. Oh, look at the back, dude. Wrestling? What's on the back? Look at the back. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> him, yeah, him. Or her. That's, that's, that's China. Jody Lar. Jody Lar. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, wow, the latest WWE. The porn star, movie. right? The porn star, Joni yeah. Lawrence? <laughs> yeah, I, for her birthday one year, I got as a gift uh, one night in China. <laughs> Ooh! Obviously, that's an actual, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Action. Obviously yeah. a gag gift, but uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. If you haven't, like, and, it, and it's gross, all right, but it, if you, all you got to do is just look at the back of the, of the package, and it's just... Something's not right down there. It's all yeah. Oh, yeah, we've always wondered about that. A lady with an Adam's apple, you gotta wonder. But now we're gonna go to this match right here tonight. RPW, we're talking Mason Rage taking on Acid Jazz, Daddy. There they go. Look at this. That's Acid uh, Jazz. Uh, oh, who's that referee? Oh, jeez. Figures. And, and, and he's never behind the camera. He's always, you know... And referee it, in or it'll be good to see how Nicholas H adapts to this match with the the disco lights just pumping in his face <laughs> no but Mason Rage hailing from Ohio Valley uh, Wrestling oh look he's got Joey, Joey Eastman. Eastman out there with him Joey Eastman but Joey I gotta tell Eastman. you uh, anybody coming from Ohio Valley Wrestling nine times out of ten you're gonna get somebody that's in shape looks like a wrestler knows what they're doing and at least has got a certain amount of experience there's Rage in there getting kicked down by Acid Jazz Acid Jazz up to the second. Whoa, flies through the air. Pinning predicament. Got him for a one, a two. And that was a lackluster pin count by Nicholas H. Did you see that? He was kind of just, his, his arm was like a feather. One, oh, he's two. Going a two. Slow. It was a slow count. Oh, okay. We gotta get nice him leg drop by uh, Acid Jazz. A second one. Give him a couple of those energy. Going drinks. for a third. A Whoa. little Look at this. spin Rooney and Woo, drops, the, drops the left fist right into the head. One, two. 
Look at these fans at ringside jumping up and down. They're loving this. Was, now, this was RPW's first show, correct? Uh, from what I was told, yeah. Steve Boz had a big hand in this from what I was also told. He mm -hmm. was uh, backstage kind of uh, About how many people uh, were the in the attendance there, Chris? Roughly. How many? Two? 200? 200? 200 with the symbols. No, he didn't want to, he didn't want to speak up out loud and yeah. say 200. He would just give us the two Unlike his zero. father. Yeah. Unlike He's his father. Give us those counts. See, a true <laughs> ultimate <laughs> consummate <laughs> professional. Four? You're saying Look four? at that. Bam, bam. He's saying there was 400 there. Really? And what town was this in? CDK? Wait a minute. Now we're hearing two different things. River CDK Grove. saying four, Chris Heffer saying two, yeah. just like Nicholas H. Well, the, Nicholas H is probably like the promoter. He'll tell you four when they really yeah. drew two. But yeah. that's the way that goes. We all know that one. <laughs> oh, are you, are, are you saying that all promoters inflate their attendance? It's a little bit. Sometimes really? they do. No, it's just mainly Ian Rodgers. Not a good thing to do. Oh, oh wow. We heard that, CDK. Yeah, we, we, said, we know you won't be welcome then anymore of his shows. Look at Joey in Eastman. Midlothian, CDK. Joey Eastman's running around having himself a little fit. No, everybody runs in Midlothian now, so that's like... That's Ooh. Not, 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 Acid Jazz right into the turnbuckle. Mason Rage, press slam. Nicholas H signaling to the heavens. Testifying Two, Nicholas H. Three. Look, he's, he's pressing him. Press him right down. Nicholas H not even checking on Acid Jazz. Hey, he's taking a little break like Who's Your Danny? That's a little uh, to page from the book of Danny uh, Dominion. That's, if a, you that's ask me. the wrong thing to do. He should, He's, if he's never wrestled uh, Acid Jazz, you shouldn't give him that time to uh, to rest. He's got and, and uh, Joey decided, Eastman up there. Decided size advantage, nonetheless. But you're right, Trevor. He shouldn't uh, give him That's a rest. That's lack like of that. experience. Yeah, something's wrong with that. Oh man, what a punch to the bread basket by Acid Jazz. Not Trevor. much behind it. You can't throw a, a really uh, strong punch if you're laying on your back. You're right about and, that. And a, and, a, and a blatant choke. Joey Eastman getting involved there a little bit, yelling at Nicholas H, but. Nicholas H. not even admonished him. Billy Wack, any thoughts? Uh, well, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the what the the sign is back there. What they're advertising? Oh, that's oh. for the uh... bring back the awesome Kong uh. <laughs> or the ding dongs. Bring back Mantor or Bust. <laughs> yeah, I like the uh, Harley Race and the awesome Kongs. I love yeah. that that ring attire they had. Those those long the capes. furs. Yeah, the fur cape vests. Joey it was Eastman. A cape vest. Yeah. Joey Eastman trying to interject himself once again in, in a match. Uh, we've seen it time and time again here on on the mat. Damn that Joey Eastman. Oh, damn that Joey Eastman. Look at him. Look at him go right into the outside guardrail. guardrails. Unbelievable. Is that a salmon-colored suit jacket? I believe so it is. Salmon? Is yeah, that's, a, that's quite a color. He's now, Aaron, Aaron, have you worked with Joey Eastman? Yes, I have. Have you been part of a Positive stable? or negative? Um, in between. In between? He plays both sides. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> I'm sure he Whoa, does. Whoa, we're not going to well, well, now we're, now we're looking at Joey Eastman a little differently. We, now we know why he wears pink all the time. I'm not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole, <laughs> even though he probably has a time or two. Whoa. Whoa. He's got oh, those yeah, yeah. electric orange pants on, too. Yeah, he made a, he made a conscious with decision a in the morning. He said, I'm going to the show tonight. I'm going to wear these. I want to look like a uh, dreamsicle. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the beautiful Joey Eastman. He's beautiful. sporting a beard now, too. Uh oh, look at this. Gets a cover, gets a kick out, does Acid Jazz. Acid Jazz is not out of this yet, I'm telling you. He's got his work cut out for him here with this Ohio Valley superstar, this big guy, Mason Rage. Whoa! Going for an elbow, and Acid Jazz moves right out of the way. Quickness paid off. I don't know if he's playing possum. I think he's just trying to get his game back together, but uh, he got out of there just in time. Just in the nick of time. Oh, what's that sign say back there, Billy? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what it is. BX Pizzazz. Oh, it's like some... Pizzazz? That's got to be Boz's energy drink. Uh, I think oh, so. Actually, it's a Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, one of those places where they, where they come out and they bring you the lamb and the, and the steak and, and the, yeah. the, the sausage and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Oh, those are so great. Yeah, so I like great. <laughs> Get that little Chinese hot pot going, oh, Billy. Oh, Wack. <laughs> Spin that little rotisserie thing around. Get the sake Get the dim sum and the little barbecue ribs. Acid Jazz with the throw in reverse and throw back in. To the corner. I like a little Chinese smoke. We're joined here by, by yes, du do, Dusty Billy Rose. Wack. Dusty Rose joining us in studio talking about dim sum. <laughs> Chinese smorgasbord, <laughs> gotta love it. Come on, Juana Lea, right? Thank you. The night she danced on the top of the ECW arena. <laughs> Look at Acid Jazz just gasping for air. His life slipping away. Yeah, he and Nicholas H is like swatting at flies. Look. Yes. No, Nicholas H is saying he's still in there and he's not going to count him out yet. Well, look at he still managed to get an elbow. elbow. He's mounting an offense. To the ears. The much a second smaller. time. This is almost a David a and Goliath kind of contest here. Look at Acid Jazz. Oh, oh my whoa. goodness. 
Look at that. Mason Rage knows he's got him where he wants him. But once again, Trevor, playing to the crowd, yep. wasting time. Chief it could have been in two, experience. Three, four, five. Why is it a pin him? Pin hey, him. Well, what's Joey Eastman? I mean, why isn't he pro you know, prodding One, his man two. to. Uh, Lack of, the lack of experience there, too. Yeah, man. I, think I'm Nick saying. H, I think Nick H broke a nail on that. <laughs> he through there with that. <laughs> but he don't care. <laughs> He's a reffing machine. Yes, he is. He's a ref and wrestling machine. We got a kid with the John Cena shirt. He's been having a ball this whole time. So I love about professional wrestling. We entertain kids. We go out there. We entertain families, kids. It's just it, it, it's part well, of the community. We're part of the community. Certain, certain That's why the show's on cable access. Certain promotions do. I mean, there's other promotions that do a lot of blood and guts. You know, the hardcore stuff. This is stuff. true. This is. But you know yeah. what? Have you seen a comic book or a video game lately? These kids are right. seeing plenty of gut and blood and guts. Yep. Matter of fact, that's probably better than. Uh, was there any blood in the transfer? I'd rather have my kid watch Blood and Guts mm, than Norbit. No, I don't think there no, was. Really, no. I don't think there was. Did Wes. you see Norbit? That yes, was, I did. That it. was stupid. It, it, it was, was like funny. the club. It was like the what? clubs. But I, yeah, was, but I wasn't about to let my kid watch. It. Right. But anyhow, oh, right. Here we go. Yeah, we're moving right along. That's yeah, a Jazz trying to pull himself up. Mason Rain giving him a little bit of hand there in the corner. Now Joey Eastman. I thought he was going to get into the ring. Nicholas H. Lackluster count. He's at two. He should be at four or five. Flying mare oh, across the ring. Man, oh man. Unbelievable. And he's just once again taking time out, really being cocky and arrogant here. Comes down from Ohio Valley to Chicago and just really just, you know, strutting his stuff, saying, you know what? Right. I don't need to pin acid jazz. I, I'm playing with him. That's what basically I'm seeing here. He's toying with acid jazz. You know what I said? You know what? Wait a minute. There's a one, two, uh -uh. and the foot's uh -uh. up. Up. Uh, Joey yep. Eastman pushing it right off there. Now look at uh, look at Mason Rain standing up. And there goes Nicholas H. Now watch very, very closely when Nicholas H. stands up. Wait, you've seen this? Wait, no. <laughs> what? Uh, Billy Wack. <laughs> what? That was Nicholas H. Hey, what happened? <laughs> what, what was I watching for? Well, wait a minute. Wait until Mason ran. Look at that. That's the first person I've ever seen Nicholas H. in the ring not taller than. You're right about yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> wow, how big is this guy? This guy's big. Is Nicholas like H is five, big. Six, Nick, six, Nick, Nick H is what? He's 6'1"? 6'1", 6'2". He tried to tell WWE he, tried to tell WWE he was 5'9". Yeah. Uh, he's, he's taller than, uh, he's as tall as Bill Goldberg. He's 6'4 in heels. But uh, once again, <laughs> this action brought to you from Ringside Pro Wrestling out of River Grove, Illinois. Well, wait a minute, look at this. Small package, one. Only a one count. Oh, gets back a up much, with a kick to the back. A much bigger Mason Rain. The rage, rage, rage. You know? or rage, I'm rage. sorry. Mason's rage. Angry. Going for a backdrop. Sunset flip Whoa. coming up here. Uh-uh. Rage ain't having it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Acid Jazz climbing up, going for a backslide. And he gets One, it. Two. Man. Able to get out. Oh. Double axe handle to the back. Down goes Acid Jazz again. And Nicholas H. Looked like he was picking his nose. And Mason Rage <laughs> said he was using the tights. Acid Jazz tried to use the tights. I kind of don't think so. I think old uh, Mason Rage is uh, trying to, you know, color the uh, the story here for the official. I think he's full of bulls. What's he doing? Oh, my doing? God. That's Eastman. A, that's, what, Joe Eastman, Eastman is what are you feeling doing himself. Herman does have a bra on. Wearing all that Whoa. big. They're very not line. comfortable. <laughs> his power. Slides oh, down oh, off a it. Get, a, a, a level left. Three. He's got something left him in him. Does acid jazz. He reverse. Acid jazz fighting for his life Ducks here. Ducks are close. Comes with a flying clothesline. Man, oh man, knocked him on the Dream Street. Can he capitalize in time? Can he knock him down? I don't think he can. Working with them feet. That's a smart way for a small guy to fight a big guy. Use Sh them feet. Short arm shiver to the jaw. Jazz to the... Oh, and he caught him. Looked like Jazz was going to try and float over him, and Mason Rage caught him. He slides down again, pushes him into the corner. Uh-oh, setting him up. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, whoa. Reverse neck breaker off the rope. Floats over one, two. Ah, foot on the rope. Joey Eastman helped place it. I got to say, Joey Eastman there in the nick of time. If it weren't for Joey Eastman, Acid Jazz would get the win. You're right about that. And look at Joey Eastman, very pleased. Wait a minute. Acid manager. Jazz grabbed oh, he's, he's got a hold of He's got Eastman. him by the short hairs. He's got Eastman. He's got Eastman. He's snatching him up. He's got him. What's he going to oh, do? Oh, Wait no. a minute. You look better pay attention to the guy in the ring. Here he goes now. He grabs Eastman. Wait a minute, now oh, he no. goes from behind. Victory roll. One, two. two. Oh! oh! Gets him off of there, unbelievable. They waited a trip up by the manager, Eastman. Didn't quite get Nicholas it, though. Oh, oh, right to the head. That, that just cleaned his spot. Wow. This is One, it. One, two, 
three. And that's, that's it. it. Ding, what ding, a ding, kick. Ding. What a one, two, three, and what a match. What a match. What a night. Nicholas H. in there again, refereeing. And here we go back in the studio. Hey, I'll give a round of applause to our in-studio guests, Hi, Mr. Riccolo and Chris Cairo. Hey, Mr. Riccolo. How you doing? Hey. Hey. Richard T., hey, good, good to see you. How you doing? All right, man. Good, good to see you. Good, good. Mr. Good. Like to, uh, nice to like see you. To thank everybody for correcting the right pronunciation of my uh, punch, uh, punctuation. It's easy for me to say uh -huh. my name, Mr. Riccolo. Oh, yeah. Not you. Riccola. It sounds like a box see? of cough drops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Riccola. Did they ever do that at the matches? It would be nice. Bring one of them big tubes. Recall. It would be nice, but maybe one day I could cough up a fortune if I could. Yeah, you would do. There you go. Well, keep working on them new ports, and maybe one day you will. You better believe it, yeah. And what you failed to mention also there, gentlemen, that when you, Chris Cairo, a former three time tag team champion. You better believe it. Wow. That's wow. right. I am. So uh, now I've got a question for you, Mr. Cairo. As, yes, we, were, as we were discussing in our opening, uh, you apparently have saved little money from your from your tenure at POW Entertainment. What doesn't happened? matter what how much you... money I saved. Well, that well, people is... think I haven't saved any money. No. You know, it's I, like I, Andy Law. What I do with my money is, is my business. Well, sure, I'm sure. So he but could have it buried like, somewhere. Like what's my bag. business? Like when I walked up and yeah, I like saw the, the pin me one two three parked outside. I left him a little present in his gas tank. Yeah. Good like that. Awesome. Awesome. Is that uh, is that you or him? Probably him. Somebody's Probably kicking. Soul. No. Yeah. Nonetheless, I showered today twice. We got a Thank great POW much. Entertainment so night tonight. Are we're you? bringing you. Nope. We got Masters of Brutality, which is Tommy Capone and Trevor Blanchard taking on none other than the future stars, this man Chris Cairo and the flying Hawaiian Kanoa. Not to mention, we've also got Hardcore Craig and Steve Stone, collectively known as American History Next. So uh, this is a big like uh, three-way tag match. You were there. Yep. Your comments. Went in, went in, went in with the belts, and uh, as you'll see in a little bit, and cheated uh, as always. As no, always. That's how no, we don't cheat as always. Oh, wait a minute. So there's wow. So you guys were actually in this match against each other. Yeah. Wow. This is. Why uh, do you think Riccolo's in between? This us? could be heating up. Not that I want to be stuff. here. Trevor, like next to you. Trevor, he, he every time somebody comes on here, it turns out that there's like a somebody has a problem with Trevor. I remember, remember Kimberly Cash and all that. Jeez, we just keep bringing in foes of Trevor, yeah. or fought, as I like to call them. <laughs> and it just continues tonight with. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, this, excuse me. Aaron doesn't this, have a problem with this. Me, is, this no, is the no, idiot. This is the idiot that caused. Rough Crossing to lose the world title in Paul Entertainment. Wait a minute, you're responsible for He is responsible for it. I didn't pin him. Tim, 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 Tim and Master J. Wow. That guy. Trump, <laughs> it's a whole other story right there, that guy. Making things happen for the MOB. We just showed this flyer. Can we get a good shot of this flyer? Right here, camera one. It's nice stuff. And I'm, you know, I'm going to oh! do something. I'm going to, I'm going to break uh, wrestling code. Uh, he okay. cranks out all kinds of great print media for the CCW and the now the POW group. Pow! And uh, I just want to give a, uh, you know, a little shout out to uh, our former host here, Master Jake. Oh, he's work, got like a map. Got a and this, map this is coming up in Fox Lake on August 4th. So uh, you want to be at that show? My current manager. Riccolo, at least Mr. he's Mr. doing Riccolo, something you guys productive. Can fill us in on what's going to happen at that card that night, because uh, Fox Lake, great place to see a wrestling show, and that's the one that's at the American Legion. Yeah. That's, that's a great that's exactly place to do right. a show. The yeah, crowning of the champ five. Really? At the American Legion off Fox Lake. Five champions, four titles on the line. There will be a double champion that night. That's You'll wow. have the tag team champions, MOB, okay. Tommy Capone with Trevor Blanchard, along with the regional champion, Everybody's favorite Thunderfoot will be there yeah. inside the, the ring. Thunderfoot from over Talk about immigration guy. rules. Another uh, guy that has the a king of Pow Entertainment, forsaken the former three-time world champion. He'll be in the ring along with the current world champion, physical fascination, Brandon, oh, Brandon Bishop. Yes. Wow, really? Pow is yes. really up in their wow. A game. For Somebody will fans. be a double champion that night. Okay. Yep. And without further hey. ado, we got to wind this one up. We're going to go to that referee. action. Yeah. Where did this uh, and, match and take also, place? Let me, let me mention, Get too, it in there. with the five-man four title, special guest referee, formal two-time world champion, Rough Crossing. Right. Right. Yeah! yeah. And you know what? Let's go. go to the match. Mr. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you don't want to hear that, don't you, Blanchard? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Hardcore 
Elimination Tag Team Match with the Tag Team Titles on the line. You've got American History next, Hardcore Craig, Axe Stone, along with the future stars, the three-time former Tag Team Champions, going against the world champ, Tommy Capone and Trevor Blanchard, being man of mine, none other than Master J, the big nose, the big jerk, that works for me on commentary. Hardcore Craig tagging in for Steve Stone as Steve Stone lays a forearm right across the chest of Cano and going for a quick pinfall. Not quite good enough. For one half of American history next, Steve Stone is Steve Stone tag right back into Hardcore Craig. Whoa! As Craig just lays the boot right into the gun of Kanoa. Big, huge Hawaiian chop by Kanoa. Forearm by Hardcore Craig as these men are staring each other in the face, going nose to nose right now. There's both of them go right after the tag team trap. Capone and Blanchard. Much to the crowd's delight. Looks like Hardcore Craig is forming some kind of alliance with the future stars. Both men in a collar out, tie up, jacket in position. As Carroll takes the arm of Hardcore Craig and twists it and rams the shoulder right into the chest of Hardcore Craig. Craig going down on one knee. Reversal by Hardcore as he gets Chris Cairo into a headlock. I don't know why these guys are wrestling. They should be going after the champs. Double oh. elimination. What that means. Each member of your tag team has to be pinned. Hardcore Gray, Chris Carroll in the center of the ring. I don't understand it. They need to tag into the champs if they want to get the goal off MOB. As Kanoa just puts down Hardcore Craig, as Kanoa just tags into Tommy Capone. Huge 
elbow right into the ribs of Hardcore Craig as Capone tags in Trouble Blanchard. As Hardcore Craig taking out both Blanchard and Capone as the referee finally gets Capone out of the ring. Couple of chops in the forearm by Trevor Blanchard. Big chop by Hardcore Craig right into Trevor Blanchard. Reversal. Both men returning the favor by chopping each other. A right to the eyes by Blanchard. The demon that he is. Trevor Blanchard aligned himself with Master J just a few months ago. Into the ropes goes Capone. Tommy Capone reaching for a tag to one of the future stars. Capone tags into Blanchard. Drake tags into Steve Stone. Here's on the rope goes Blanchard. Tag into Tommy Capone. Super kick! Super kick and down goes Hardcore Craig. That Steve Stone just gets pinned by Capone. And the ropes of Canola big flying. Body press right into Trevor Blanchard. Big club, Steve Stone. Canola picks up Stone. And then the ropes of Canola but Big airplane spin. Canola go for the pin. Steve Stone gets the pinfall. Canola is eliminated. Canola is eliminated. Front up, left over a pin. Canola gets a quick pin on our court Craig. Now it's two against one. Good sportsmanship by Hardcore Craig and Chris Cairo as both men shake hands. Chris Cairo up against MOB all by themselves. The masters of brutality, Master Jay's tag team along with Brandon Bishop. What an awesome force. You've seen all members of MOB out here at Rock Crossing. Jason Brandon Bishop away from ringside with that two by four. Oh, mercy. Chris Cairo fighting off both members. Of MOV, Master J just wishing patiently place place at ringside. He's looking to get his bits, and you better believe it. I should, he's waiting to stick his big nose in there. His nose is so big, he could be walking in Fox Lake and catch a cold in Chicago.
Rich Garo working over Tommy Capone. I'd have to say that the odds are very slim that Chris Garo could survive this match and pin both Blanchard and Capone. As Garo getting up on a second rope, flying through the air. Master J sneaks into the ring. What is going on here? Oh, that's what you get, you orange geek. Look at Chris Garo. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, you just gotta love it. Super kick by Tommy Capone. Oh, no. But, oh, man. DDT by Trevor Blanchard. That looks all for Prince Carter.